Now let us look at the concept of GDP, which stands for Gross Domestic Product. And GDP is simply the market value of all final goods and services produced in a country over a period of time, usually a year. And when we say market value, what we are looking at is anything or any activity which enters into market transactions and the market price thereof. When we use the term final, what we have in mind is goods and services that are produced and sold to the consumers and not to the producers. For example, we distinguish between what is a final good and what is an intermediate good. And an intermediate good is one which is used as an input to produce something else. So in GDP, what we are looking at is the market value of all final goods and services produced in a country over a period of time, which is usually one. There are three ways we can measure GDP. One way is from the income side and it is called income approach to measurement of GDP. Another way we can measure GDP is the output approach to measurement of GDP. And the third way to do it is through expenditure in a country and this is called expenditure approach to measurement of GDP. In order to understand different approaches to measurement of the same thing, which is GDP, consider a very simple circular flow diagram. And it represents in a very simple way how things move within a country. Suppose we divide a country into two sectors, one called the household sector. This is where people live, people like you and me reside. And then we have the firm sector, the place where we go and work. And look at the relationship between the household sector and the firm sector. As household sector, we provide factor services to the firm sector. What do we mean by factor services? We provide labor. We are also owners of machine. We are owners of land and capital and also entrepreneurship. So the household sector provides firm, firms with factor services. And in the, in the firm sector, what we do is we go and produce goods and services. And who consumes goods and services? It is the household sector or, the, or people like you and me. So household sector is the provider of factor services. And the firm sector is the provider of goods and services. Now let us bring in financial stuff. Now, when we provide factor services, what we receive is factorial income. And since there are different factors of production, each factor of production receives an income. Workers receive wages. Owners of machines receive rate of interest. And we have already discussed why rate of interest is the remuneration for machines. Then we have land and buildings and the owners of land and building receive rent and entrepreneurs receive profit. So the firm gives us money which is called factorial income. And as household sector, what we do with this income we receive, we go out and spend it on goods and services. And who produces goods and services? It is the firm sector. So. So based on this diagram, we know that value of output must be the same thing as income of this country. And income of this country must be the same thing as expenditure of this country. And, and all these three things will give us exactly the same number, the way we have described the economy and that will be GDP. So there are three ways to measure GDP, either through the output approach or the income approach or the expenditure approach. In economics, we distinguish between what is ex post and what is ex ante. 
and by expose we mean after an event has taken place and we have taken into account everything by ex ante we mean before an event takes place or this is at the level of intentions of people now in an ex post sense the way we have looked at the circular flow diagram value of output is identical to income and that is when we use three parallel lines here it simply means it is identical or by definition true and in terms of circular flow diagram income is also identical to expenditure or value of output income and expenditure mean one and the same thing or they measure one and the same thing in an ex post sense now at the level of intentions of people or in an ex ante sense value of output and income are still identically equal or they are the same by definition and income or value of output may or may not equal expenditure so this is also possible so you should know the difference between ex post and ex ante and what it means in terms of measurement of gdp now let us work through showing general equilibrium for the economy where we bring in producers consumers and the financial information on to the same diagram so a very quick review we looked at increasing cost ppc and we know the point of tangency is is the production equilibrium point for this country and what is the condition for production equilibrium you already know this these three must be the same and through production equilibrium we can determine how many units of clothing and how many units of food will be produced in this country now let us look at consumption equilibrium again this green curve is the community indifference curve and the point of tangency between the budget line and the cic represents consumption equilibrium and at consumption equilibrium this is the point of tangency so the slope of cic must equal the price ratio of the budget line or marginal rate of substitution between clothing and food that's the slope of community indifference curve must equal the slope of the budget line which is given to us as pc by pf and here like in the case of production equilibrium we know value of output will be the same thing as income in case of consumption equilibrium we already know that income should equal expenditure and once again consumption equilibrium point is the best point for the consumer now on this diagram what we have are all the three sets of information the purple curve represents the ppc and it is the increasing cost ppc the green curve represents community indifference curve or cic in short and this red line represents the budget line and here what you find is this is the common point of tangency we let's call this ea common point of tangency let's call this ea and here you'll observe that the budget line is tangent to the ppc so this must be the production equilibrium point and here the production equilibrium point coincides with consumption equilibrium point or these two overlap and let's just call this ea now at ea the following must be true the slope of ppc which is mrtcf must equal the slope of community indifference curve that is represented by mrscf and this must equal the ratio of prices which is pc by pf and this becomes the general condition for a country's equilibrium 
when we bring different economic agents onto the same diagram that is producers as well as consumers and here you'll also observe the production equilibrium tells us value of output and income are one and the same thing and consumption equilibrium tells us income equals expenditure so here what happened what is happening at ea is these three are exactly equal now since ea represents production equilibrium the country must be producing oc1 units of clothing and also producing of1 units of food now production equilibrium also happens to be consumption equilibrium here and that means the consumption of clothing will also be OC1 or in other words here production of clothing equals consumption of clothing and production of food also equals consumption of food. So when a country can produce whatever it desires or wants to consume and the country can produce all that in such a case there is no need for trade and so this ea that i have written this essentially stands for equilibrium equilibrium i'll just type this out in autarky and by autarky we mean a situation of no foreign trade so when the country is self-sufficient and engages in no foreign trade, what you will find is production of a particular good will equal consumption of that good. And this is what we find in terms of clothing and food. And here, once again, value of output, income and expenditure are equal to one another. In the previous slide, what I have shown is general equilibrium when the economy is in a situation of no foreign trade or what we call autarky. And so you should know this term autarky, that means a situation of no foreign trade. And when you have autarky, the country can produce all that it needs uh, for its citizens and in our case we are looking at clothing and food so production of clothing will equal consumption of clothing and production of food will equal consumption of food when we have autarky or a situation of no foreign trade now when will foreign trade arise this can arise when a com country produces just as an example produces more than what can be consumed in this country, for example, of clothing. In such a case, if you cannot consume all that you have produced, you are going to export this item. And if, on the other hand, you produce less than what you consume, for example, food, your production of food is less than consumption of food, in this case, you will import food so remember autarky and wonder what conditions will a country export or import products the last thing is we looked at equilibrium in autarky when we had increasing cost ppc and as we go along and there'll be subsequent lectures and if when needed we look at constant cost ppc and also decreasing cost ppc how does it equilibrium look there so this completes our discussion of this topic thank you for your